up guys, Jared with Orion Training Group. We have Jason Ransom with Ransom Tactical Solutions. We're here at FRC's indoor shoot house in Baton Rouge. And today we're gonna to talk about a concept called running the rabbit. Jay Daw. Um, and what that really is, is presenting a moving target through a corner fed room. Um, we're gonna show you another method called pushing the threat. And there's a little bit of a debate in the, uh, the community between people on what's more efficient, what's pros and cons, you know, what's better. We'll show you a little bit of both. So first let's talk about pushing the threat and what that would look like. Um, we're gonna say that the camera's perspective, where Mitchell is, is our threat. So this is what we would call a deep corner. If, um, Jason, can you conduct somewhat of a pan from out there and the door's limiting? Jason gets pretty much to the point where he's ready to launch and he can't see probably, you know, this maybe 30, 40 degrees here which is where the camera's occupying, so it's perfect. If he was gonna enter pushing the threat, go ahead and demo that, Jay. He's walking in toward the threat and hitting his scanning point, okay? Now, you stay there, Jay. What is the second guy? We're gonna talk about the responsibilities of the second man. That second guy is having to come in around him, hit his corner here, and then if you were the threat, I have to earn my shot. Remember we talked about in other videos, I can't shoot from here. I have to be a meter off his muzzle, so. Let's do it together now that we've broken it down. We'll talk about the time it takes to get somebody backing up our first gun into this deep corner. So usually it's about two and a half, three seconds. Do it one more time a little bit faster. And at this point, we can go ahead and add in a timer, huh, Mitch? Yep. All right. I'll so put the timer down there. Timer on the trigger press. So between you mantising him and me mantising him. Yeah, that was good. Two and a half. Right. Okay, so now we're going to break it down. No timer yet. Running the rabbit. Now, what was Jason's route? His feet carried him toward you while shooting at you as the camera, right? Now Jason's going to run the rabbit. Again, this is the only thing we haven't seen is this little 35, 40 degrees here. So Jason's going to go ahead and run the rabbit. Look at his route, but look at his muzzle orientation. You going to hit it, Jay? The route is here. Muzzle orientation was still to the only thing we hadn't seen. So now watch it with a second person. No timer, just nice and easy. So I, as the second man in, have a path of least resistance that I can simply float. He is getting out of my way and I am occupying this space. And as that shooter, you're having to deal with two guns quicker and a moving lateral target as the initial stimulus. So when he moves that direction, human behavior generally leads you to track that moving target. Then you're presented with a second shooter. So let's do it again with mantises and we'll do our timer, Mitchell. One more time. Sauce it up a little bit, you know. So much faster. A lot faster, right? And you'll see it with the timer. So what are the pros and cons? Um, when Jason is moving in that lateral position, can you occupy this kind of like, you know, big foot step for me? His plates are not fully angled toward the shooter, so he might have a little bit of an armor gap here that's exposed. That's one con to it. Um, what if, Dan, put a chair up here for me. What if we had an obstacle blocking our route? And Jason could really only get to a limited penetration pod, and he runs his rabbit. Is he really creating a moving target there? Eh, so, you know, user's choice. If you have a short route, it's really worth running the rabbit. Now, what are the cons of, what would you say the cons are, Jason, of pushing the threat? Well, I'm, uh, I'm occupying this space and time, which we'll see is about two seconds, two and a half seconds, before you're able to scan that area because there's only one place for your muzzle to go and that's that direction before you collapse that sector and wind up on the bad guy who's occupying this space. So that becomes now a one-on-one -on -one gunfight for about two, two and a half seconds. So yeah. that means I'm in the room by myself dealing with whatever unknown threat or known threat that's over here while my number two man has to possibly run through bullets yep. uh, to get around me and then collapse that sector of fire. So Yeah, and let's break that down step by step. So Jay, let's do push the threat. I want you to take one step into the room at a time. So he's taking one step in, take one more step and stop right there. Now I'm, I'm nut to butt, right? We wanna do that distance equals time. One more step, Jay. And he starts getting engaged. We're right in line. Those two, three steps into the room. Now let's do around the rabbit. 
one step at a time. See, so stepping in, stepping in, stepping in, and now we're three steps into the room, and we've created a distance, and there's not really a way to shoot both of us at the same time, because remember, that got seen from the outside. So when you combine running the rabbit with a good pie or a pan technique or an exterior analysis of the room, and you're dealing with just that 35, 40% of the room that's left, it's really, really effective. Um, anything you would add on that? No, not really. What about you, Mitch? No, I'm good. Yeah, so if you want to try that, see it in person, actually get the reps on it, come to a class. Uh, YouTube is great for just kind of getting a taste of things, but you've got to do it uh, for real with somebody watching and kind of helping you along. So we don't gatekeep this stuff. Obviously, it's on YouTube. So check out OrionTrainingGroup.com, uh, unrestricted open enrollment for American citizens. We'd love to see you there.